Today, I wanted to delve deeper into the much anticipated City Skylines 2. But unfortunately, since its release two days ago, the City Simulation game has been at the center of scrutiny due to major performance issues. I wish this was just a solitary case, but unfortunately, it echoes a larger issue in the gaming industry. City Skylines 2 hit the ground running with lots of players being excited after the success of the first game and promising early access gameplay starting to come out weeks before launch. But the reality is that the game stumbled immediately after its release due to major performance issues. Many players, myself included, have experienced frame rate drops, freezes, or even crashes to desktop. The gameplay you see here is from my test city. It was meant to be nothing more than a playground to check out the in-game tutorial and get a feel for the changes in the second installment of the series. This small city though was enough already to push my high-end GPU past any acceptable levels. Playing the game for more than a few minutes felt like sitting next to a heater fully cranked up. The dismissal performance of the game has overshadowed the innovative features introduced, as echoed not just by me, but also reviews and player feedback across the web. While the developers had forewarned about potential performance issues, the extent of these problems has left the gaming community disheartened. This begs the question, why was the game released in a clearly unfinished and unpolished state? The narrative of City Skylines 2 is not an isolated case. The Lord of the Rings Gollum, for example, launched to poor critical reception as well due to performance issues that needed a patch to address them. The game's developer, Daedalic Entertainment, even apologized for the underwhelming state of the game upon release, promising fixes to improve the gameplay experience. Such a scenario not only tarnishes the reputation of the developers, but also disappoints the gaming community that had high expectations, especially given the iconic lore the game is based on. In the same way, Forspoken, another promising title, faced significant performance issues post-launch, where even on powerful consoles like the PS5, it experienced frame rate drops down to around 20 FPS despite targeting 30 FPS. The developers had to release patches to rectify these issues, some of which were platform specific, indicating a lack of thorough optimization before the game hit the shelves. In a similar vein, Starfield by Bethesda, despite being one of the most anticipated RPGs, faced a wave of bugs and performance issues upon release. Even though some of these issues were minor, the sheer volume of bugs identified by the community reflects a lack of polish that is becoming a concerning trend in the industry. Bethesda had to roll out patches post-release to address these performance issues, which is a reactive approach rather than a proactive one, indicating a rush to meet release deadlines at the expense of quality and player satisfaction. These cases underscore a disconcerting trend in the gaming industry, where the rush to market often takes precedence over delivering a polished, optimized product. The repercussions extend beyond just the developer's reputation. It affects the overall gaming experience and the level of trust the community places in the developers. As avid gamers and supporters of the industry, it's crucial that we hold developers to a higher standard to ensure that we receive the products we pay for. Games that are fully finished and optimized for the best possible gaming experience. This used to be standard, and I for one think that it has to be this way again. Now, when it comes to City Skylines 2, I do remain hopeful that the developers can iron out the performance issues to let the game shine in the way it was meant to. The potential for an amazing game is certainly there, but the damage has been done as well, and many players, myself included, will think twice before giving the game another chance. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. See you in the next one.